Well, hello, everybody. I think you can hear me. Probably, I hope. Uh, I wanted to do uh, sort of a close-up today, uh, which is this. <laughs> we're just we're going to test a couple things as we're getting closer to being able to do close-ups the way that we used to. Um, and uh, I wanted to take a minute to try to, to sort of walk around uh, all the way up and see our new mom cat from here and see. Um, I'm guessing we're going to lose our connection a little bit in there and see how it works and how much work I have to do to, to get us something that can work on that front. Um, so. That's exactly what we're going to do, but before we start moving around, uh, I saw these guys all playing in these boxes that are going out to the recycling and thought it might be a good time to uh, catch a couple minutes of video of them. Hey, oh, look at your big eyes. Can you do this for everybody? Look at those eyes. What are you doing? <laughs> she is just... So that's, uh, that's Trinket. You may not have seen too much of her, but she is a wonderful little kitty that came here. We thought that she was going to be a mom cat for us, but it turns out she's not pregnant, she's just a little chunky. In fact, uh, she's put on even more weight while she's here. I, I know she looks pretty good right now, but um, yeah, if you pick her up, her little belly, uh, it really does kind of feel like she might be pregnant. I can see why they thought that. Uh, but she's a real sweetheart, and as you can see, uh, she loves our three little boys, Ocean's three little boys. Uh, she kind of, I think, sees them as her peers, so she likes to play with them all as they can. Uh, so, um, oh, sorry, uh, I'm sorry if that made a lot of noise. I'm, I forgot to turn off my messages. Uh, anyway, um, she, uh, she loves to play with these three little boys, Ocean's three little boys. This is Spyglass, and that is Astro, and somewhere in there is Caliber. I was hoping they'd be a little more active, but I guess they're all just kind of looking at each other right now. Custard likes to play with all of them, too. Hi, <laughs> Custard. They're good boys. They, they really get along with everybody. And as you know, they all need adopters. So uh, you might want to check the application on our website, kitten.academy. I know it's a lot to fill out. I know that. Um, but uh, it's worth it. You know, these, these are great kittens. And you only got to fill out the app once. Uh, you know, and the kittens will last you. Yeah, we're open, you know, 20 years or so. It's, it's a big commitment, so it's worth filling out a big application for, right? I think. Uh, and since we're on the topic, I also think that a uh, little trinket here would be really good to go with one of the boys. Um, I would probably put her with Spyglass or with uh, um, Astro first. Um, Caliper's a little more independent, but she'd be good with any of them. So with their mom, for that matter, Ocean, who is laying right back there. We'll go take a look in just a second. In fact, we'll walk that way right now. Here's all the faculty. We've got, uh, well, some of the faculty. It's Custard, Ari, Eddie. <laughs> well, Astro just knows no fear. He goes and just... He messes with anybody, and you got to be real careful. All three of these kittens, uh, the, the younger kittens here, they all will just run outdoors and uh, jump on counters, and uh, no fear whatsoever. Um, so you got to be real careful when you got a door runner. Yeah, well, you said it, Eddie. Eddie wants third dinner. Anything else, bud? Yeah, I hear you. We'll see you that after I'm done. Okay, we can't do a full 20 minutes or anything, um, but I, let's go upstairs and see our actual mom cat. This is Ocean, by the way, and she would love to get adopted with one of her boys. She is just a sweetheart, gets along great with everybody, uh, hasn't really been a source of any conflict with any of the faculty. Um, she does want them to keep her, their her distance, but uh, she seems like she really knows how to manage that pretty well. So she would be good with just about anybody. Okay, let's see what happens if we try to take this straight upstairs to see our mom cat, who is named uh, um, Cahoots. Cahoots. I still have to do some work to get to remember that myself. Probably in here. 
Well, she has been. Maybe she's over on the other side or something, but I did just put a birthing box in here for her. I was hoping maybe she'd be in there, but oh, hi. Were you just eating? You look like you were just eating. You're licking your lips. Yeah? Okay. So what do you want? She's very attentive now. She's really a big fan of me. Yeah, hi. And she's got some things to say. What do you want? She's got the cutest little squeak when she starts talking, but she usually just talks when she thinks I'm leaving or when I first come in in the morning and she wants breakfast or when she wants treats. Most of her talking is about food, really. You hear her purring. Checking my fingers to see if there's any foods. So she's very pregnant. Like I said, her name is Cahoots. Uh, she came to us pregnant, and we're going to help her deliver her little babies and raise them up and get them adopted, get her adopted, and then uh, do the next one. That's what we do. So, hi, sweetie. She has become very affectionate, but she, uh, as you can see, she's got a little bit of a head tilt, and uh, I think maybe a little more than that going on, too, because uh, I noticed that she's, she's got a little bit of trouble tracking things, um, and then... She's also, uh, I think, a little bit shy and nervous around people at first. I mean, you can see she's not shy or nervous at all here, but it's taken a while for us to get to this point. Yeah. And so far, she doesn't like seeing other cats at the door or, um, you know, around, but that's pretty typical for mom cats at this point. So uh, even Ocean, I think, was like that at this age, age, uh, this stage in her pregnancy. Yeah, there she's. She wants somebody to get away from the door. Uh, even Ocean was kind of like this at this point, so uh, that's not at all unusual. And now Ocean's just one of the chillest cats, so we'll have to see after she has her babies and has some time to settle down in about a month or so. Then we'll start to really get a feel for what she's going to be like with other cats. She's not too much of a lap kitty either. I've been working on her, trying to get her to sit on my lap, and she'll do it for just a couple minutes at a time, but then she wants to sit on the floor, and she wants me to come and hang out with her on the floor. And she wants to play, too. She loves to play with stuff. So she's been a lot of fun so far. And she's real soft. <sighs> oh, and when there's treats around, she gets ridiculous asking for them and begging, and she'll... She'll reach her little paw up and try to try to like bat at them or grab them from you, but she's also pretty polite about it. You know, she's she's fun. So anyway, uh, oh, and so we had her X-rayed um, as we always do. Just uh, it, it is a it's sort of a health check for them, uh, and it gives us an idea how many kids they're going to have too, and uh, you know it it kind of helps assure us that those those babies are all um, going to be healthier. So. Uh, so, um, on the x-ray, we can clearly see that there's uh, five kittens, and there could be more. Who knows? We'll see. Anyway, see I've got to get her a can of food, so I think we've done our test well enough, and uh, there might be more to this recording when it gets published tomorrow. We'll see, but for now, I will talk to you guys later.